determining smallest electronegativity. In this problem it says which element has the smallest electronegativity. So we have five elements here and we have to find out which one has the smallest electronegativity. So we have to know that when we move left to right that electronegativity increases due to the number of protons that increases. And as we go down top to bottom it decreases. So we know that we're probably going to look for an element that's further down the periodic table. And we know that we're probably going to look for something to the left because if this increases, we're also, we also know that when it, we go from right to left, it decreases. It decreases. So you would use your periodic table, you could use your fingers or a pen to kind of mark the periodic trends to help you better understand and know where the smallest electronegativity is. So we have CL. Then we have S, and S is to the left of CL, so that must mean it's smaller. And notice we're looking for the smallest, so CL is now out of the running. And then we have P, which is also to the left of S, so that must mean it has a smaller electronegativity since it decreases when we go right to the left. So S is out of the running. Then we have SI, and SI is also out of SI is also to the left of P, so that must mean P is out of there, and AL left of SI, so E is the answer. So you could have seen that they were all in the same period, and when we go from right to left, we said it decreases. So the one furthest to the left, which was AL, as opposed to CL, is actually the smallest. So we could also do that, and E is the answer to that problem.